Привет, как дела? Меняться в шиканацки. Hey, it's Shake and I'm practicing my Russian because, as you can see, this is my very first video as um, a Soviet uh, soldier. I, I don't know if it's pretty correct. It should be saying Russian, Soviet Union. I don't know which one. So uh, you guys know what I mean. Okay. Two things are going to happen in this video. One, I'm going to play this class, which I've been playing. And I tell you what, already, I'm telling you, I'm having a lot of fun playing as the Russian slash Soviet Union soldier. Um, I don't know why. It's just a lot of fun. I'm having fun playing it. Probably more than I did the Germans. Uh, you know, I've totally maxed out my my U.S. soldier. So I'm really going to start playing, I think, the Russian. And uh, I want to get to recon. I want to be a uh, Russian slash Soviet Union sniper, recon soldier. Uh, where I can uh, practice more of uh, my Russian language, but of yet. Yamenza pa escapat es expatu. I'm the export manager. <laughs> okay, so the other part of this video, though, is a tutorial. Probably a lot of new people coming to this game. I've been playing this since it was closed alpha, you know, what, three and a half years. You can see from up here top left, I got about, geez, what, 1 million, uh, 1 million, 13,521 credits up here. Um, I got a bunch. Um, and that's just because I've played so much. So I'm going to try to share what I know about the game. It's going to help you get started. First off, I'm going to show you. I'm using, this is the very first soldier that you get, whether it's German, U.S., or Soviet Union slash Russia. I don't know which one to say. <laughs> and uh, standard loadout. Nothing has been modified. It is the standard deal. Uh, but I'm going to show you how you can do well and, and avoid some frustrations. So let's get into the battle, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so let's start out. Which, you know, do I pick stage battle? I, I'd advise you when you're starting out to start with the staged battle. And I'm going to bring up... I'm not going to do a skirmish. I'm going to do a large map here um, and make sure I only got picked Vladislav Guryev. Um, and we're going to jump in the battle. That's what I advise you to do. Play one of the bigger maps. You probably do. You you got a little more room to flank and maneuver and get a feel for the game. Okay, so we're about to get in a match. Fresh match here. First thing is critical is when you start off the match. Pick a spawn point. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go with the church here and get to the first objective that is closest to you, which for me is B4, as fast as you can. That is a gimme. That is a gimme for your team. That is a gimme for you as a, a new player to get points. Um, you could do aerial ballet like this guy next to me, <laughs> or just get on down there, get your points, help your team out. Um, this is this is important to start now. All right, you want to get in here. You're not. Gonna, it's not going to be contested because uh, they're on the other side of the map. You know they're up there at B1. So as soon as this gets captured, then you're going to try to haul butt to Bravo Three and get another objective if you can. That's what you want to do when you're starting out in this game. Use that map. Go for the objectives. Get orientated. We got it. I'm going to get on this bike, and I'm going to go as fast as I can now. Now, this is probably going to be contested. We get up here, there's probably going to be a little bit of action going on, but that's okay. I'm going to still go for it. I got, I got into some sludge there with, the, with my bike here. Um, and then I'm going to talk about flanking. This game, one of the most um, important things to do well in this game is to learn how to take advantage of flanking opportunities. Trust me, that is the way to do it. Um, you don't have to have all of the mods and the, and the special gear. You just know how to play these maps. And also, just be aware of the surroundings and listening for footsteps and all those kind of things uh, in these kind of games. Now, and the others get in position here. I'm going to expect them to come through one of these doors so I'll be ready. And watch the top here. You see it turn red. You know somebody's in that capture zone then. All right, boom. Now I'm going to pull my map up. I know they're coming from B2, so instead of... Here they come. Instead of me heading up there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up here. I'm, I'm going to kind of defend. 
from up here. I, I'm just going to, because I've played this so much, I'm going to get up in a position like this where they're not going to be expecting me or they won't be at least looking as much. You know, they're looking more down at the ground. And I'm going to hope this guy sticks his head out and I'm going to try to get a headshot if possible. And I got a lot of armor coming. I don't have any sticky bombs yet. Uh, so we could get us... Uh, I don't know what they're calling the Russian... Uh, um, there he is right there. Didn't get him. Hit the stick in front of me, I think. All right. Probably spotted now at this point. I'm going to get back down the cap. Those tankers are going to bail out here at some point, And they're going to want to come in here. So I'm going to stay in the cap and defend it. You're going to get more points if you fight from the cap and defend it. I'm just gonna for I'm just gonna get ready in case they're coming out here. I love the new frags for the uh, Russians, Soviet Union. Um, the sound of them really sounds awesome. And these, I haven't fired yet, uh, but when you hear this weapon sound, I think it's a lot better. All right, we got the tank sitting right out front. And what he's gonna try to use his tank right there I mean, he won't even get out of his tank. But, you know, uh, planes, uh, tanks, armor, they're, they're great on the battlefield. But uh, you, to win the games, you definitely need infantry to get in these caps and capture them and hold them. I'm just going to hold here for a minute. I'm going to check my map out, see how the battle's going. They're, oh, see, now I know they're, they're captured. They're heading up this C3 line over here to my this side over here. He's just trying to take me out by shooting uh, through the walls. But uh, I'm sorry, that's not going to work. But I'm going to watch this flank over here. Because, see, they can flank us now from this side. Let me get up here. A little bit safer position here. And, again, they're just going to sit there with those tanks. Well, see, but see up there, see Bravo 2? Once we capture Bravo 2, they cannot capture then... Uh, what is this, Bravo 3? Yeah, they can't capture it then. At least for now, unless they go capture Bravo 2. So we got Bravo 2. It's neutralized Bravo 3. Looks like they got the tank. So that's nice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flank to Charlie 3. And I'm going to talk a little more about flanking. When you, when, if, if, when I die, I'm going to die. Um, and you spawn. The major mistake people make is they'll spawn along the line where the action is at. Um, and that's good, I guess, in some circumstances. But you will do much better, especially as a new player, flanking the enemy. And, and, I, and I, like to, I don't like to be out in the open like this, but I really had no choice. I'm going to run as fast as I can, do a little jumping, a little hopping. See, right now, these guys are focused heavily on this side of the of, towards the bridge they're focused on people coming across the bridge and I'm in the cap get in the cap I'm telling you if you, do, if you don't do anything else get in these caps a lot of people ignore them some just don't know what to do this is how look at that I got no kills and I'm in fourth place and help with my team basic soldier I got nothing special going on here um, now, some people have talked about in this latest update, the weapon sway. I love it. All right, here come some bad guys. I can just tell because they're throwing frags in here. They don't like the weapon. I love the weapon sway. What's nice about the... Uh, the the weapon... Ah, darn it. The weapon sway is it will lead to more intense uh, infantry battles. Okay, let's, before I talk more about it, let's see this right here. A lot of people will spawn here and head up there. Don't do it. Spawn off to the flank. Use that flanking maneuver now to, to pinch them in. It's kind of an L-shaped uh, pincher maneuver. That sounds pretty damn good. And uh, hold on here. You can hit people with, with these basic weapons, but it does take some patience. <laughs> and they've added the sound when you die now. 
Uh, you do hear stuff. So you got this player tag as well, which is pretty cool. Again, I'm going back to B3, and I'm just going to keep using that flank to put the pressure on the Germans. The other thing is when you're out in these woods, use uh, it's obvious, but people don't do it. Use these trees. Stop every once in a while to assess the battlefield. Spot targets like that. So other Got one. Just like that. I got the basic bolt rifle. I'm not doing anything. I'm just, you know, using some cover here. We're pinching these guys in. And this is what you want. I'm going to mark this tank again. Uh, and marking is all you do is aim down your sights. Just... I love that music. Aim down your sights. I love this weapon, the sound of it. I'm just going to keep marking. Now what you want to do is, is just sometimes, again, gather your thoughts about where the battle is. I know they're coming from B1. I know they're at C3 here. They're coming from up there. They're taking B2. I see that going down, but we got people over there. I'm just going to chill right here for right now. And I see infantry right there. One hit. Even if you don't kill them, you're wounding people. Man, I keep holding my breath when I'm firing that weapon. I love it. Oh, he took that tank out. Very nice. And part of that is just spotting those things so people that can take them out can do that. All right, I'm heading up to the help with the objective now. Again, going for that objective. Watch these open areas. Okay, so some other things you could do now in this new build is before... Before you could not um, get some frags. You you could you couldn't buy skins for infantry. You can do that now, which is pretty cool. All right, I'm in the cap. I'm gonna fight for the cap, just like that. That's gonna get you more points. It's gonna help your team. All right, here we go. Game on. Look at this. I'm in uh, what sixth place. Not doing anything major, I'm not Rambo. Basic setup, you can do this if you're a new player. Boom, neutralized it. Look at this battlefield status, we're looking good. They are gonna be able to flank us from B3 if they get it. Just like that, just like that, just positioning and listening and being patient. Boom. Look at this. Second place, my friends. Just from what I'm doing here. And you can do this. I love that sound. Now, before I head out there, though, I'm not just going to sprint out in the open there. I'm going to look over because I know they're going to be coming from that location right there. To take this back, they're going to counter. Doing pretty darn good. I like this new kill tag, whatever tells you, kills you. So this is in conflict. I cannot spawn there right now. Doesn't mean we've lost it yet. I am going to go B3. It's under conflict as well. And I'm just going to double check. I'm going to look for any movement coming. I just saw movement right there somewhere. I'm going to be looking up here because they're coming from this area. But they're going to be coming down through here. And the more I can shoot from the flank, the better. They're getting B2, so I'm actually going to head back over to Charlie 3. We're doing pretty well in this match, actually. Just got taken out by somebody over there. I don't like this open area, but uh, going to have to cross it. And I'm going to kind of get right here. See, I know they're coming from Charlie 2. It's a red objective. I know they're going to be coming down through that area, off to the woods to the right over there. So I'm just going to... I got a German right over here just going into the cap. Now, if he gets in there, I'll know because I'll see that the blue thing start to come down. And it's not. So he, they must have got him. I'm just going to try to spot some uh, enemy right now. Look for any snipers that might be over there. All right, let's get a push up a little here. Get a better position here to watch these guys coming. I'm under fire. So, I mean, someone's over here. 
It's got a beat on me. Now, if you get shot at like that... There's a tank up there is what it is. Right... There's a guy right there. You know, the weapon has got some sway, but I'm okay with that, actually. I am okay with that. There's something right there. It's it's a Jeep. Got him. You know, you move, move left and right, left and right. Throw a frag over there now. Let's see if I can get the way over there. Second place. Frag's coming in. Alright, I got flanked. Again. Goal for objectives. Long well, I haven't got any too many long range shots yet. Uh, but again, here's the line. They're they're coming up from B1, B2. They're coming from Charlie 1, Charlie 2. Here's these two key locations. We've got to hold these two spots. If I wanted to spawn in a vehicle with this guy, I could. I'm going to do that. A uh, new feature in this build that allows you to do that. Uh, there are some uh, kind of rules around it. That Jeep looks sweet. Looks like he's going to try to take me up around here to flank. I don't I don't know where this guy is going. You know, if that happens, I'm going to get out. I don't want to be going too far over. And... Uh, Again, I'm not going to go head on at B2. I'm going to come off to this flank here. And let's see if I can take this or at least help these guys take it. Tough thing about this is that tank right there. We'll just, I mean, if you go inside there right now, you're toast. And unless, unless we got a sticky bomb or something... There's another one over there. So this, at this point, might be... Uh, oh, good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Nice job, whoever took him out. We had him distracted, and uh, he must have got with a sticky or something. Get in the objective. And sometimes you'll see guys standing around like that, not getting in the objectives. All right, very nice. We're gonna, and if we get this last one up here, this Charlie 1... We will close down this line, and we can focus all of our efforts. Oh, shoot. I'm getting over here. That dude looks cool. Look at that. Look at his outfit. That is sweet. We got it. So we got the points for that. Third place. Now we're going to try to get out of here. Wait between shots and get out. So that was nice. Okay, let's head over to the help with Charlie 3. We're losing Charlie 3. Um, and again, this, this, the, what's nice about these battles, what's fun about these battles, is they're dynamic. They're not linear. And uh, there, there's a sandbox mode, basically, but yet there's focus because there are objectives. All right. Okay, so before I spawn, I, the spawn point is critical on how well you do. I check out the battlefield. I see that they're, but see, I'm not going to spawn at C4. It would be a mistake. I'm going B3. And I'm going to head over and try to flank these guys. And uh, what I'm going to do here is actually, I'm going to, they're going to be trying to get C4. I'm going to actually use this waterway, these, and these. Got him. Man, I'd love to see at some point, not only a new map, but could you imagine a snow map? Snow coming down, or the white covered ground, be really cool. I'd love to see that. We're getting Charlie through. This this is a really good match. We're really pushing back and forth, and uh, sometimes you'll get in matches like this that will be just going on forever, and just will be great. Again, I'm gonna get in this, get in the cap, help capture the cap, get yourself uh, again not only up on the leaderboard and points, but help your team win. go come on shake there 
Second place, guys. Rookie, brand new guy. You could do this too. Watch out. See, they got a beat on me up there, so I'm not going to do that, but I am going to throw a frag out there. Oh, jeez. So we're still doing good. So you guys get that. I hope this was helpful. Uh, I'm not going to go the whole battle. You can see, I mean, I'm in second place with only five kills, but I got three captures, 524 points, basic soldier. I hope this has helped you. Uh, part of it, obviously, is learning the maps. But again, when you see these lines, these red ones, that's where the enemy's coming from. Um, your job, like we're defending right now. The key, especially on this map, is to really hold these critical points and don't let them retake them. So cheers, peace, guys. Um, appreciate the support and likes, and I'll see you guys in the gaming world.